In this video, I'm performing an experiment to see just how effective the old school method of bell jar hearing aid dehydration works at getting moisture out of your hearing aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona, and I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Most people think that the only time that their hearing aids are at risk for water damage is if they completely submerge their hearing aids in water, like if you were to get into a pool or jump into the shower, or if they sweat on those hearing aids profusely. However, most people fail to realize that the long-term exposure to moisture leaching off of your body can embed itself inside of your hearing aids and after a long enough period of time can lead to malfunctions with your devices. This problem is even bigger in humid environments because your hearing aids literally never get a break from being exposed to moisture. When you let this moisture fester inside of your hearing aids for long enough, it can cause your hearing aids to perform poorly, and it can even get to the point where your hearing aids won't function at all. So what do you do when you accidentally get your hearing aids wet, or you just consistently wear them day after day, and you need to make sure that all of that moisture is pulled out of your devices? Well, you take them to your hearing care professional so they can professionally extract all of this moisture out of your hearing aids to ensure that they are going to be consistently functioning properly. Now, for as long as I have been in the profession of audiology, professional hearing aid dehydration meant placing your hearing aids into a bell jar dehydration system like this one. In fact, I have personally run hundreds, if not thousands, of hearing aids through a dehydrator just like this. The concept is when you place a hearing aid underneath this jar and you activate the drying chamber, it creates a vacuum that is supposed to displace moisture that is inside of the hearing aid and dry it out. A typical cycle for a unit like this should take about four minutes and after that cycle is over, your hearing aid should be pretty dry and ready to go. The problem is I have run a ton of hearing aids through a bell jar dehydration system and the fact of the matter is I have no idea how well it actually works to remove moisture. This would be similar to me programming a set of hearing aids using manufacturer first fit settings instead of me actually verifying that those hearing aids are programmed correctly using real ear measurement. Up to this point, I have been blindly trusting that this method of professional hearing aid dehydration has been the best way to remove moisture from a set of hearing aids. So I decided to actually verify the bell jar dehydration system's ability to remove moisture from a set of hearing aids. And to do this, I'm using Redux's professional hearing aid dehydration system, who is also today's video sponsor. The Redux is a heavy duty professional hearing aid dehydration system that has not only been scientifically proven to remove every last bit of moisture from inside of a hearing aid, but it also measures and verifies within 10% accuracy the amount of moisture removed at the end of a dehydration cycle. The Redux's ability to measure the amount of moisture that is being extracted from a set of hearing aids after a dehydration cycle is what's going to allow me to evaluate the effectiveness of bell jar dehydration. The first thing I decided to do was place a 10 microliter drop of water onto a metal tray and place it inside of the bell jar dehydrator to run it for a full four minute cycle. At the end of the cycle, I placed what remained of the 10 microliter drop of water inside of the redux chamber to measure how much of the water was removed by the bell jar dehydrator. After a 12 minute cycle inside the redux, we can see that the rest of the drop is completely gone. However, the most important thing to note is how much moisture the redux detected. That number was 8.9 microliters. This means that after a full four minute cycle inside of the bell jar dehydrator, it only removed 1.1 microliters of moisture out of the full 10 microliter dose. Just to make you aware, the Redux dehydration system is more than capable of dehydrating more than 10 microliters in a 12 minute cycle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a 10 microliter drop of water inside of the bell jar dehydration system and run it for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, which is three full cycles inside of the bell jar dehydration chamber, I placed what remained into the redux to verify how much of the original 10 microliter drop was left. To my surprise, there were still 4.2 microliters of moisture still remaining. 
Ultimately, it took six four-minute dry cycles inside of the Bell Jar dehydration system to remove the full 10 microliter drop, which for you math savvy viewers out there is 24 minutes. This information is good to know, but there are two major issues here. The first major issue is that I have no idea how many times I have to run the chamber in order to pull all of the moisture outside of a hearing aid. In this particular experiment, I could see the 10 microliter drop of water and just run the chamber as many times as I needed to to get rid of it. The second issue is we are testing to see how good the bell jar dehydration system is at dehydrating a drop of water that is exposed inside of the chamber, when in reality, we should be testing testing to see how good it is at dehydrating moisture that's inside of a hearing aid. So in order to test this, I actually injected a five microliter dose inside of a hearing aid, closed it up, and put it back inside of the bell jar dehydration chamber. I immediately transferred the hearing aid to the redox to get a measurement for how much moisture was removed from the hearing aid by the bell jar dehydrator, and what I found made my stomach sink. The Redux ultimately removed 5.5 microliters of moisture from the hearing aid. Given that the Redux tests within 10% accuracy of the amount of moisture that it removes from a hearing aid, we can see that the Bell Jar dehydration system did not remove any of the 5 microliter dose that I had injected inside of the hearing aid. Why did my stomach sink when I saw this number? Because for years, I've been telling patients that I've been dehydrating their hearing aids with this Bell Jar dehydration system, and it wasn't actually doing anything. Fortunately, now that I know this, I can spend the rest of my career making it up to my patients because I know that I can now remove 100% of moisture from a hearing aid using my Redux system. Not only does the professional Redux system work better than Bell Jar dehydration, it actually measures and verifies how much moisture was pulled out of a hearing aid so I can know that your devices are 100% dry. If this is the first time that you're hearing about the Redux professional dehydration system, do yourself a favor and watch my unsponsored video review that I will link in the description of this video. It might just save your hearing aids from water damage, which is one of the leading preventable causes of hearing aid device failure. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.